Hi, I'm Paul from Myra Showers, and in this video, we'll be taking you through a step-by-step -step installation of the Myra Beacon Dual Mixer Shower. The Myra Beacon comes complete with Hydroglow technology and requires no electrical supply or batteries, making the installation hassle-free. Designed for new installations, the installation of the pipework should be completed as part of the first fix of the installation and located at a suitable height for the user to operate the valve ergonomically and allow enough clearance for the ceiling for the overhead deluge. A first fix pipe guide is supplied to help ensure that the pipework is correctly separated to 50mm between the hot and cold suppliers. The supply pipework should then be secured appropriately depending on the type of wall construction. The supply pipework to the shower must be in 15mm copper. Plastic or barrier pipework is not suitable for this application. Using the installation tool provided, or a tape measure, the supply pipework can then be cut back to 19mm from the finished wall surface. Cutting the pipe to size is best done using a pipe slice. Taking care that all external burrs are removed to prevent damage to the valve seals when mounting the valve onto the pipework. The valve backplate can then be offered to the wall and marked for drilling. All four fixing points are required to secure the valve to the wall sufficiently. The wall can then be drilled, taking care to avoid the pipework in the wall cavity. The supply pipework can then be siliconed around to prevent water ingress back into the fabric of the wall. The back plate can then be secured into place using the fixing supplied or those more appropriate for the wall material if necessary. Checking that the supply pipe work now measures 12.5mm from the back plate surface, the retaining nuts can be fitted and tightened into place using the installation tool provided. These need only be hand tight. Water supplies should be flushed before fitting the valve. This prevents debris from blocking the filters or corrosive fluxes causing damage to the valve mechanism or valve seals. Before locating the valve onto the supply pipe work, apply a small amount of grease to the seals, checking the cleanliness of the seals from debris beforehand. The mixing valve can then be located into place by sliding the valve onto the supplies. Hot and cold indicators on the valve indicate the correct orientation to be matched with those on the back plate. The valve can then be secured into place using the two retainer bolts supplied. These need only be hand tight without the need for power tools. The cover shroud can then be clipped into place, aligning the splines on the valve with those on the shroud housing. The cover shroud also features the electrical conductors which connect the cover LEDs powered by our Hydroglow technology. The temperature dial can then be clipped into place, aligning the top of the cartridge with the temperature override button on the dial. The outlet connector can then be secured into place using the installation tool provided. The deluge assembly can then also be assembled, being sure to include the clamp brackets and hose retaining ring when doing so. The back plate assembly for the riser rail should be installed temporarily to mark the wall for fixing. This is tightened using the grub screw. Using a spirit level, the deluge assembly can then be held to the wall to locate the fixing points required for the back plate assembly. Take care to fully insert the rail assembly into the valve in order to obtain the correct reference points. The back plate assembly can then be marked, the wall drilled and secured into place using the fixing supplied or those more appropriate for the wall material if necessary. Using a stud detector will help in avoiding damage to services within the cavity of the wall through drilling. The rail assembly can then be reinserted into the valve. Place the back plate cover on the rear of the rail assembly before securing and clip into place for a flush finish. The riser assembly is then secured into place using the grub screw provided. The hose and handset can then be installed, taking care to feed the hose 
through the retaining ring to comply with water regulations. Floor regulators are supplied for use on high pressure plumbing systems and are installed in between the valve outlet and the hose and in between the deluge and the deluge arm. See our instructions for more details regarding the benefits of installing these. The deluge head can then be secured and hand tightened to achieve a watertight seal. The water supply can then be reinstated and the shower tested and commissioned. Your Myra Beacon Jewel is now ready for use.